children spend a large portion of their day indoors at school. Ensuring that schools are ventilated and have good indoor air quality is critical to protecting and supporting the health and well-being of students and teachers. Ventilation means providing fresh outdoor air into classrooms. Ventilation removes indoor air pollutants from buildings by bringing in outside air and exhausting room air, which dilutes the concentration of indoor pollutants. Indoor pollutants include volatile organic compounds that can off-gas from building materials, finishes, furniture, and cleaning products. Indoor pollutants also include respiratory aerosols that are exhaled by building occupants. Reducing the concentration of respiratory aerosols inside buildings is important to reduce the spread of airborne infectious disease, including COVID-19. Ventilation also reduces the indoor concentration of carbon dioxide, or CO2, that is exhaled by students and teachers. Generally, CO2 is not considered an indoor pollutant. However, some research suggests as the concentration of CO2 builds indoors, it can affect the cognitive performance of students. Ventilation is important for all building types but it is particularly important in schools because of the high density of students in an enclosed space. Indoor air quality impacts student health and learning. Research has found that increased ventilation rates are associated with increased student performance, improved respiratory health, increased student attendance, and lower risk of transmission of airborne infectious diseases. How are classrooms ventilated? Classrooms are ventilated either naturally through open doors and windows or mechanically with an HVAC system. Natural ventilation may not provide sufficient airflow for a classroom environment. In addition, the air is not filtered or conditioned and open doors and windows may pose a safety concern. This is why mechanical ventilation is recommended for classrooms. We usually think of HVAC systems for their heating and cooling functions but they also provide ventilation and filtration. How do you know if a classroom is getting enough ventilation? You may think that teachers can detect a problem, but most cannot. In a recent study where teacher surveys were compared to ventilation rates, over 60% of teachers in underventilated classrooms reported that their satisfaction with their indoor air quality was neutral or satisfied. In order to know if a classroom is well ventilated, the HVAC system's ventilation rate must be measured and, if necessary, adjusted to meet the classroom requirement. This should be done by trained, qualified, and certified personnel. The fan supplying the ventilation to the classroom must run at least one hour before scheduled occupancy and during all occupied hours. In addition to testing and adjusting ventilation rates periodically, continuous monitoring of classroom CO2 levels is recommended to quickly detect ventilation problems. Monitoring CO2 levels is a useful and convenient way to monitor ventilation. You can see here how CO2 concentrations change throughout the day in a classroom. When the classroom is empty at the beginning of the day, CO2 levels are about 400 parts per million, or PPM which is the outdoor air concentration of CO2. When students come in, the level of CO2 will rise. In a well-ventilated classroom, it'll level off below 1,100 ppm. In a classroom with ventilation problems, it'll keep climbing, sometimes as high as 3,000 ppm. Research from around the world shows there are high CO2 levels in many classrooms. For example, in a 2019 study, Researchers found that about 85% of 94 recently installed HVAC systems in California K-12 classrooms did not provide adequate ventilation. We recommend that school districts take the following actions to improve classroom ventilation and indoor air quality. When purchasing new HVAC equipment, select equipment capable of providing sufficient ventilation rates for high occupancy areas like classrooms. When installing new HVAC equipment, test and adjust the system to provide the required ventilation rate. Periodically, test existing HVAC equipment to ensure the required ventilation is provided. 
With minor adjustments, many existing systems will be able to meet ventilation requirements. Hire contractors and technicians that are certified by a testing, adjusting, and balancing certification agency. Ensure that building control systems and thermostats are programmed to operate ventilation fans one hour before school starts and continuously during the school day. Inform teachers on the importance of operating ventilation fans continuously. Install sensors in classrooms to continuously monitor CO2 levels and detect potential ventilation problems. Thermostats with integrated CO2 sensors and standalone sensors are widely available. When possible, use filters with a minimum efficiency rating value, or MERV, of 13 or greater to remove small particles from the air. Change filters every three to four months during the school year so that airflow is sufficiently maintained. Ensuring adequate ventilation rates in classrooms is essential and will help support the health and productivity of students and teachers.